Hello! Welcome to the next Creative Dreams Digital Scrapbooking Tutorial. I was asked a while ago how I created the glitter alphabet that is in my butterfly bling kit that's available in the Creative Dreams Digital Scrapbooking Store. And it's actually really easy to do and so I thought I would take the time today to show you all how to do it. The first thing you're going to do is open up a canvas to create your letter on. Um, I'm using a 3x3 three three canvas here. It gives me a little extra room to, to work in. And type your letter. The best fonts for this technique are simpler fonts. Um, fonts like Arial uh, or any handwriting fonts will be the best. Uh, if the font is too fancy it's just going to end up looking like a blob. So something nice and big and relatively simple. So here I have my A and you can see I have my type layer here. I'm going to rasterize it so that I can actually change up my type a little bit and and work with this a little better. So now I just have a rasterized shape here and I'm going to come in and clean up some of this a little bit because I know that this part on the A is going to end up looking kind of blobbish in when my glitter is done. So I'm just going to grab my lasso tool and just really simply come in here and you don't even have to be too precise. Select it and delete it and you'll see I have a little bit sticking out there. It's okay. The end result you're not even going to know. I'm going to come to the other side and just get rid of that. And now when I zoom out you'll see I just have a regular A. <clears throat> now I use the path tool a lot and in this technique it, it really comes in handy. So what I'm going to do is select my layer by holding down the control key on my keyboard and clicking on my layer thumbnail and that puts a selection around my whole A and I'm going to take this selection and I'm going to create a path from it and to do that I just go to my path palette here if you can't see it in one of your palettes go to window and click on pass and that'll bring up your pass palette now down at the bottom of my little pass palette here I have an icon that looks like a circle with two strings coming off of it and if you hover your mouse over it it will say make a path from selection. I'm just going to click on that and that has changed my selection into a path. If I come to my layers palette and turn off my layer you can see that there is now a path selected around where my letter was. Let's zoom out again and now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm just going to leave that original layer invisible because I don't need it anymore. I just used it to create my path. Now is where the fun glitter stuff comes in. I'm going to grab my pattern stamp tool <clears throat> and come up here and I have all sorts of glitter patterns. Now if you don't have any glitter patterns there are a whole bunch of them available for free on my blog if you go to creative-dreams.net and I'm going to choose now the colors that I want to make my alphabet from and you really want two colors for this because it adds a lot of depth in the glitter and they can be two similar colors or two completely different colors either way it doesn't matter so my first one I'm going to choose this kind of antique cream color and now I'm going to come to my brush options for my pattern stamp tool and I want to create a glitter brush. Now I've there are instructions, uh, text instructions on my blog to do this but I'm going to show you how real quick. Um, you want to go to the Adobe brushes that are square, the square brushes. They came with your Photoshop program and just load them up and I'm going to grab a, the 20 pixel brush that's usually about the right size to look like a chunk of glitter 
and I'm going to change my brush dynamics a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to add some shape dynamics because I want it to look sprinkled. So I'm going to turn the size jitter to around, I don't want to turn it up all the way, so around 50%. The angle jitter I'm turning up all the way. And then I'm going to come to scattering and I'm going to put a bit of a scatter in here. Um, around 300 percent, uh, no I think a little less, around 200 percent for this technique. And I'm going to come to my brush tip shape and I'm going to move out the spacing because I don't want my glitter to be on top of itself. I want it to be scattered out so that you can see each piece of glitter. So around 140, 150 percent should do it. And once you have that all set, you're ready to make your glitter. So I'm coming back to my pass palette and I have my new empty layer selected. And I'm going to go to my pass palette and down here there is an icon that just looks like a solid circle. If you hover your mouth over, mouse over it, it will say stroke path with brush. Just click on that. And there you can see I have the outline of my A in my glitter. Now to give this a little bit of depth before I move on, I'm going to add just a little tiny drop shadow. I'm going to set my distance to zero, my opacity to 60, and my size to about three, three to five, anywhere in there, and click OK. Now what this is going to do is it could, it's going to make, as we build up the glitter, it's going to make each piece stand out from the other pieces so that you can tell that there are piles of glitter that are making up this alphabet. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. and I'm going to select my second color of glitter. Now I'm going to go and grab a bright blue because I like blue, it's my favorite color. And now on my new layer, my empty layer, I'm going to come back, select my path, and stroke it again. <clears throat> now I'm going to come to my original layer and right click on it and I'm going to copy this layer style and then go up to my new layer and paste it. So now you can see how my letter is starting to shape up. Now it's just a matter of going back and forth with these two glitters, creating new layers, and adding more glitter on each one. Pasting in the layer style change my glitter with a new layer and do it again. And I keep doing that until my letter is filled out the way I want it to be. Now that I have my outline, I would actually probably put in a couple of more layers, but my time is running short. So now that I have my outline here, I'm going to select my path again. And down here you'll see there's a dotted circle that loads the path as a selection. So I'm going to do that. And now my path has become a selected area with the, the dancing ants. I'm going to come here and way at the bottom above my original A. I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to take my pattern stamp tool and I'm going to make this brush, the square brush that I'm using, very large. And I'm going to come to my brush presets and I'm going to remove all of my shape dynamics. And I'm going to grab the, the glitter that I want to fill my alphabet in with and I'm just going to paint in the selection with that glitter. If I deselect my layer and zoom in, you can see I now have a solid A filled with glitter. Have fun!